Hey guys, welcome to .NET Techie. In my previous video, I have explained all the CRUD operation. Now I am taking explanation one by one for all the operations. So Angular 4 insert operation with Web API Entity Framework using Visual Studio 2015. So let's jump on to that particular uh, part of the practical. So basically, let me explain you the HTML part. So which HTML part I am talking about? is the basically this html part which has come over here so for the inside client what all are things i am doing that i am gonna do explain you okay so for insert thing basically i am having one html component over here in that html component i have just decorated the things i have used the form group so this is my form group client insert form name just remember it and this is form control name so if you are using the form group why i am using the form group in order to get the value of that particular control and uh, form group supports a lot of other things such as validations and uh, other stuff so i have used form group in this form group i am having control called name insert and code insert and there is one submit button which is having inside client method okay let's see what this form group is so basically in the component i will go i am going so how i am referring that html into the component by this line so this line is saying that in order to load this component use this html over here what is the client insert form which i told this is form group okay so now we have to tell what all things this form group is having so in this form group i am initializing with name insert and code insert thing so name insert and code insert is two control which are we are having in this control why we are using that in order to get the value of these controls over here so the moment user clicks on the insert button it comes over here gets the value of that particular control what has been entered then assign that particular value in the client model client model is nothing but the class which i have declared in order to hold the value of the client then i am posting that particular value into the web api once i have posted the value into the web api so post client is nothing but my angular service which will talk to web api controller and web api controller will the do the insert operation via using entity framework and it is using ms sql database so post client will give some kind of response to me so i'm subscribing that particular response if any error is coming i'm catching into this section if error is not coming this is my happy section success part i am telling that this has been done ignore this particular part because this is the part once insertion is done i am just refreshing my table saying that load all the clients so this is my uh, component part let me take you to the service part over here so this is post client so post client it is taking simply taking my model and redirecting to api controller let me take you to the api controller what is happening here so this is uh, my post client method which is accepting model if model is not valid it is give, returning there if model is valid db dot add client it is saying and db dot set changes what is the db context which has been used over here this is the db context which has been used over here and this. so let me show these thing into the actions so let's say i'm going to have to add uh, one more uh, wells fogo okay and let's say wf is fine okay and i'm doing f12 i have put the breakpoint into the proper place and now we'll debug step by step what's happening so this is my html in html i'm having the controls form controls and form control names i'm having the button which is having one click event inside client it will hit to the insert client particular method okay well it came to insert client and i have insert values for go i got the value of that then i am assigning into the model and model is talking to angular service angular service will take me to the basically 